Australia's first euthanasia clinic opened its doors this week, set up by the controversial Right to Die campaigner Dr Philip Nitschke. The centre will only provide information to patients and allow them access to drugs. It won't be a place for them to end their lives. Dr Nitschke joins us from Adelaide and in Brisbane, Australian Medical Association President Steve Hamilton joins us. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Dr Nitschke, I will begin uh, with you. What services exactly will you be offering at your clinic? Well, as you indicated, it's not exactly a medical facility. It's called a clinic. But basically, we give out information uh, to people who are very anxious to know what their end-of-life choices are. Some of those uh, ones that they really need quite a deal of information on because there's a lot of mixed uh, and uh, misinformation out there in the community. So people will come along or they'll be... Uh, I'll talk to them by video link. The facilities are there, uh, whether they're in another state or another city, uh, and they'll be asking what their options are. Some of those options will involve uh, acquiring drugs, which they will want to take uh, at some stage if a disease that they've got worsens. Uh, others just like to know they've got some uh, reliable and peaceful option uh, on standby in case things deteriorate and some will want to know about things like how do I go to Switzerland and take advantage of their civilising laws. We also have a laboratory facility where we'll be able to make sure that if anyone does acquire uh, drugs, perhaps from overseas, uh, that those drugs are of course uh, exactly what they purport to be. So giving people the reassurance of knowing that if they do take that step they won't mess things up is important. So are you confident that everything that you're offering there, particularly potentially testing drugs people have acquired overseas and, and bringing it to you. Is that all legal? Yeah, we're pretty careful. I mean, we don't, uh, we don't want to fall into any silly uh, mistakes here with legality, so we'll be watching that very carefully, and there are ways to deal with the legal issues associated with that issue. So legal loopholes? Legal loopholes, yes. Right. OK, well, Dr Hamilton, I'll bring you in here. Um, uh, hearing what Dr Nitschke just said, what's the AMA's view on the clinic? Well, look, the other piece of information that's really important to share is that the great majority of people do die a peaceful death. And we would hate for people to think that everybody's going to go through an agonising death alone. You know, certainly everybody's entitled to pain relief and symptom relief as they approach their, their dying moment. And uh, the AMA doesn't oppose that. Um, what we do oppose is actually physicians being involved in any actions that deliberately end, end a person's life. But we absolutely support information t transfer, information delivery, and pr the provision of appropriate uh, symptom relief, even if that does shorten life. So does that mean that you support Dr Nitschke's clinic? Well, I think it's important that we actually have a balanced discussion to make sure that the whole uh, of the information is, is transferred. Advanced care planning and advanced care directives can help, but information is really important and the population needs to talk about what happens to us at the end of life. It seems that's one thing we have difficulty discussing either with our doctors and our family. So more information is a good thing but it has to be balanced. Uh, Dr Nitschke, what sort of feedback have you been getting uh, from people and how many people have come to your clinic already expressing their interest? Well, I mean, the, the services, if you like, that we offer have been going on for some time. It's just that we've been able to put things together in the one location. So, I mean, I've been talking to people for the last decade about these issues and visiting people in their own homes at times and making sure they've got access to good and reliable methods if they decide to take that that uh, lawful option of ending their life, because suicide is not a crime. So uh, the misinformation is a concern out there, though. People have this idea that if they become desperate, they'll just take an overdose of some drug and they'll peacefully die. And making sure that people understand that that is not the case, that you really have to know what you're doing, is important. And I see it as quite consistent with good harm minimisation principles to allow people the information that informs them so that they can make a valid choice. And when they get this information, many people, of course, move away from the option of ending their life because they realise it's not as straightforward as you might think. Are you worried about the opposition that you've received from the South Australian Parliament? Yeah, I think that was a little unenlightened to hear the Minister for Health making his comments about the fact that he's not involved in, in and can't organise my deregistration, that that's a uh, matter handled by APRA, the Medical Board of Australia, but then going on to suggest that the police should be involved. I mean, if he had a, if he had a concern about illegal activity going on, I wish they'd first of all talk to me, and of course we would welcome the police to come around to the new clinic and talk to us about it, because there's nothing illegal going to happen there. Dr Hamilton, finally I'll finish with you. Do you ever foresee a situation where the AMA would work directly with Dr Nitschke? 
Look, we obviously have uh, people in, our, in the AMA with a divergence of views, and the collective view, though, is very strong, and that is we don't support interventions that directly lead to the end of life. We absolutely support good palliative care, good information transfer to the public, and a balanced argument is really important. So talk to your family, talk to your doctors. This is something our community needs to discuss much more. OK, Dr Steve Hamilton joining us from Brisbane, Dr Philip Nitschke from Adelaide. Thank you both very much for your time on this issue. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, coming up on Meet the...